Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Mehdi, my most favorite five ultra luxury smelling cheap fragrances by Mazon Alhambra. For those who don't know, Mazon Alhambra is a UAE based clone or inspired house, which is a sub brand of another well known house, House of Let's Offer. Without any further ado, Ambre and Leather at number five, which is clone of Ombre Leather, but at some points only at the beginning, at the opening. It differs compared to the ombre leather. It is green somehow, only at the first 10-15 minutes. But after that, it goes out of that somehow barbershopy green vibe and leans very close to ombre leather. How is the scent profile? After that green opening at the dry down, it is very smooth, leathery. Leather is here for sure, synthetic, but it is high quality. It is very inoffensive and smooth, silky type of leather with touch of powdery notes at the background and I can get some sort of cardamomy and spicy notes so it is leathery powdery sweet and spicy at the dry down performance is average like five to six hours maximum in terms of longevity on the skin with first hour hour and a half again average projection and siege at number four kismets one of the most luxurious smelling cheap fragrances in my collection I bought it around 30 bucks and it smells like 200 bucks very dressed up and expensive smelling type of fragrance it is rosy it is sweet gives me some sort of boozy vibe and it is like ambery dusty or earthy it is dusty dusty is a better description for this one it is very close to tuxedo by ysl or let's say it is clone of that fragrance i prefer it for indoor and close encounters night times I can get average performance out of this one, like again, five to six hours maximum. Let's say good five hours with first hour, hour and a half soft average type of projection and siege. At number three, Bright Peach, such a beautiful underrated hidden gem. One of those must have inspired fragrances in any collection. It smells perfectly unisex. It is creamy, yummy. I can get vanilla, peach and some sort of jammy vibe at the background of the fragrance it smells like peach flavored ice cream and ladies love this scent profile very much i have to say to you guys they give me great reactions just so i can't get enough of this beautiful fragrance oh my goodness very yummy very realistic peach note here it is very juicy springy summery this clone of bitter peach by tom ford exactly like that fragrance performance is average i prefer it for office situations closing encounters and the spring and summer it is not enough powerful for fall and winter to my nose but smells like spring in a bottle very happy and sexy fragrance at number two this bad boy this must have crazy fragrance kismet angel one of the best clones of angels shirt sure get this professional clone let's say juice inside is 10 out and it is very close to angel's share it is smoky somehow woody i can get some sort of wood absolutely at the background of this fragrance it is boozy and gives me a little bit dried fruity vibe very crowded type of scent profile for a cheap clone fragrance this scent profile is wow just for me down to perfection to my nose yeah i can't believe it i bought it around 30 bucks for 100 ml if angel's share is too expensive for you close die get this one it is not a blind by worthy fragrance but if you are into this type of niche and profiles i mean performance is average again most of alhambra fragrances are average just galatia is a bit good like five to six hours and first hour and half again average soft type of projection siege. and at number one my current let's say most favorite fragrance from this house i have no idea about tomorrow but right now this is my absolute most favorite one from maison alhambra mind-blowing 10 out 10 epic cologne fragrance crafted wood such a crazy fragrance i really enjoy it very close to Tom Ford Wood Wood, but I can say not identical, like 70%, uh, 60% close. I can get some sort of suede vibe at the background of the fragrance. Tom Ford Wood Wood is not suede or 
somehow leathery I can get powdery notes I want to apply it on my skin it's very beautiful oh my goodness at the opening it is very close to good wood but at the dry down gets a little bit powdery not as powdery as for example ombre leather a little bit gives to fragrance a very beautiful kick and twist let's say it is a little bit fresh at the top not citrusy i would say green it is like green woody type of fragrance with touch of powdery notes based on what i can smell and see from the presentation i believe they are going after carved wood by thamin not tom ford wood, wood but also that fragrance is inspired by tom ford wood, wood. A very beautiful wooden cap is here again performance is average but scent profile is out of this world for me not one of those long lasting fragrances average projection and sketch as well but hey i really enjoy this one take care guys Ah. <sighs>